Addiction Tokyo launched the Out of Your Shell collection and I was so captivated by it. The whole pearl-esque everything. I picked up the Quad High Tide. I love the color story. It is more, more coral. It has a pop of purple and a very sparkly diamond topper shade here. The quad is $52 and there are 6.5 grams of product in here. The second quad is more of a purple cool leaning color story. It is currently sold out. I'm not sure if they're going to restock. They might. I wasn't interested in that color story. This one was a little more captivating to me. The website describes this shade as an iridescent peach glitter, orange glitter, a pigmented apricot and a silvered purple. And I love the look that I created with this today and I cannot wait to show you how I did it. And I just wanna mention that the foundation I'm using today is the new Natasha Denona Hygiene Powder Foundation. I have mine in the shade R2. I have already done a video on this powder foundation. I will link that in the card above. I'll also have a separate link in the description box down below, just in case you're interested in this. The palette is so pretty. It looks like a pearl palette. It's gorgeous. It's got like the little pearl type of detail to it. I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick it up and really do it justice. Addiction Tokyo has tons of singles and they've had all kinds of things that I've been interested in. It comes with little brushes. The palettes, I don't recall them ever having like the little quads sold in America, but this thing is so beautiful. I am just so smitten by the color story and I'm excited to give it a try because I love Japanese beauty. The Surat line, the Suku line, Clay de Poe I have not tried yet. I still need to try them. My eyes are primed with the About Face primer. I'm not even sure what I want to do yet, but there's only four shades so it can't be that complicated. I'm excited to try it though. I'm going to start with the coral shade in the bottom right corner and I'm going to pick that up on a Ruffer 01 brush and I'm going to build that up out on this outer edge. And then I'll build up this outer corner with that purple shade. Maybe, we'll see. That blended so beautifully. Ooh, okay. I don't have anything from Addiction Tokyo except for this, so this is a very first. First impression of the brand for me, first impression all around. I'm going to use a Sony G Soft Definer. I'm going to pick up this purple shade here on the outer corner. Sorry, on the bottom right. I'm going to put this on the outer corner of my eye for a little depth. These are working so lovely. Okay. Layering nicely. I feel like a little pearl princess mermaid thing with this, <laughs> all the pearl going on. I wanted it to fit my theme. Once I've gotten most of the product off the brush, I'm going to gently bring it into my crease and diffuse it. I'm gonna use that Ruffer 01 with no additional product and very gently buff around the edges one more time. And I'm picking it up on the far tip of the brush. I'm gonna take that same soft definer with that same purple and I'm gonna use this to sweep along my lower lash line. I'm going to use a Ruffer 02 brush and I'm going to pick up this golden sparkly shade. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I'm going to try it with a brush first. If it doesn't look the way I was hoping it would, I'll use my finger. I'm going to dry. Oh, it's so sparkly. Wow. Maybe I'll wet my brush. Let me try that. I'm going to try wetting it. Oh, it's 
it's just a beautiful sparkly shade. Wow. I'm going to gently pat it over this third outside. Excuse me. I'm going to gently pat it over this outside corner, then come back and sweep it into my corner crease. It's not really looking the way I'd like for it to, so I'm going to pick it up on my finger. Mm, that's gorgeous. And I'm going to press it first. I feel like I get better payoff if I press and then gently drag across. Oh, it's so pretty. And I'm gonna pick up that sparkly shade on a rougher 26 brush. I'm gonna spray my brush and use this for the inner corner. Ooh, beautiful. Oh my gosh, just beautiful. And I'm going to very carefully kind of bring that up and into my inner crease here. Oh, it's so pretty. And into my crease, oh, excuse me, brow bone. Oh, I love it, I love it. <laughs> I love how sparkly this shade is. Oh, it's so pretty, I'm so happy with it. Okay, let me mascara, liner, all the fix-ins. I'm going to use the Addiction Tokyo blush in the shade Nudist Beach 001P. It is a pearly shade. It's a coral pearl, if I recall correctly. Yeah. I think this one will look perfect for the eye look I'm going for today. I bought it because I wanted it to match. I wasn't really sure about the rest of the lineup. I kind of want to dip my toes into Addiction Tokyo. I'm not going to use a highlighter just yet. I want to see how it looks on its own and just kind of like bring all this together first. I'm gonna use a Sonia G Designer Pro brush and pick this up. This should have a little bit of pearl enough to kind of give me a glowy cheek. I love my Surat and my Suku blushes, so I'm kind of hoping this gives me the same fuzzy feelings. Color-wise, it's beautiful. Oh, that is subtle and gorgeous. It's got a sheen to it. It's not super shiny, which I prefer a little more toned down. Definitely nowhere near the Rare Beauty blush, which I like. I'm gonna bring it up to my eye there, kind of help connect my cheek to my eye socket. Give me more of a lifted appearance. I love this color. This is so beautiful and unique and it matches this eye quad perfectly. I was really hoping it would, and it does. Before I buff it down though, I'm gonna use my Natasha Denona Hygen Skincare Infused Glow Beautifier. I'm gonna use this to highlight my cheek just for a little bit more of a pop. I don't even know if it really needed this. Probably not. I'm gonna take my Suku face powder and I'm gonna use that on a Sonia G brush. This is a classic cheek. I'm gonna use this to buff down this front area here. I'm gonna take a Sigma Kristen Dominique brush. This is a setting powder and just gently go over everything and buff it down. I finished off this look with my MAC Incorruptible Liner and my Kiss Lashes in these style gold hoops, one of my favorite styles. And my lipstick is Lisa Eldridge Sculpt and Shade, I believe it is, 1C, and my Suku lipstick, Moisture Glaze number one. This quad is so pretty. So I was not expecting this shimmer shade here to be so sparkly and reflective, and it's a topper, so you could technically just put it over the entire, the entire lid. Let me see if I can gently just sprinkle it without, oh yeah. And it just adds a little bit of extra shine to your entire look. I'm so impressed with this quad. Addiction Tokyo has tons of singles that you can choose from. I wasn't interested. I know they released a couple more singles in this collection that they launched. However, 
it's not really something I want to invest in at this time. I just have so many singles that I'm not currently using and that I need to use. The liquid blushes that launched with this, it took a lot for me to not want to buy at least one of them. And I think the white color was a highlight. I really thought about it, I did. There are lipsticks that you can buy. I don't really want to buy more lipsticks yet. I, I have favorites that I reach for and they don't have one that's in a matte formula, at least not from what I could see on the US website. Maybe some other time down the road. I just, I like my Suku and there's still so many more things I want to try first, but I didn't want to dive too deep into the collection. I feel like this quad was actually the first little baby step that I wanted to take and it was perfect and worked out so well. So in the future, I definitely want to pick up at least one of the singles, maybe a couple, just to kind of see how they work and hopefully another quad that launches in the newest collection will pique my interest as much as this one did. The formula is so good. It blended so nicely. They're all shimmers, one being the topper here. There's no matte. I'm okay with that. I don't necessarily need a matte. I like having a matte to reach for, but I don't need it. The quad palette is lightweight. It's sturdy. It feels good. It reminds me of my Suku quads, but not as weighty and luxurious feeling. It's it's definitely not a cheap quad. It's, I would say price point wise, about the same as Suku, but doesn't feel as luxurious in the hand. It's not lightweight by any means, but it's not, eh. It's hard for me to describe, but the color of the quad is so beautiful. I love this pearl detail to it. I love the blush that I picked out. I love the pearl to it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. The size of the compact is amazing. You could travel with this easy. It's sturdy. Yes, it's all plastic, but it's not cheap and flimsy. It's actually really nice to hold. The size of it is perfect for travel. I don't feel like I'm going to easily break it. I do want to get one of the matte blushes. So they have this in the pearl shades and they have matte shades. I want to try the matte. There's a, a baby soft yellow. I'm really intrigued by that yellow. I want to give that a try. I do have a yellow blush here. I've got a Scott Barnes. I was thinking about using this, but honestly it's a little too bright yellow. And I think the one on the website just looks so much softer and would probably blend into this type of blush so much nicer than the Scott Barnes and definitely not make me feel like I'm jaundiced. But this was really nice and a pleasant surprise. I think this is a hit. I want to try the matte. Otherwise, I love the way this look turned out. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's part of the Out of Your Shell collection, which I, I had to pick all my pearl stuff for. I love pearls. And I kind of feel like this headband, while it's over the top, I feel like a little mermaid princess type of thing. I don't know, it's hard to describe. I'm weird, what can I say? Everything on my face is linked down below. They are affiliated links, so if you click on them, I do earn a small commission, so thank you so much for supporting my channel. I love this look, and I am so pleasantly surprised by Addiction Tokyo. I can't wait to try more. Do something for yourself today because you are worth it.